What's going on? Welcome to the Victims and Villains YouTube channel and or Instagram TV, whichever platform you're watching this on. And today we are talking about Here Are the Young Men. What's going on guys? If you guys are new to this channel and or new to the name of Victims and Villains, we are a Nonprofit that educates and engages individuals on mental health awareness and suicide prevention through pop culture, and we do it through content like what you are currently watching right now. If you guys would like more information and find out how to support us and just get a little bit more information on what we're about, click the link in the bio if you guys are currently watching this on Facebook or Instagram, or click the link in the description below if you guys are watching this on YouTube. Today we are talking about the Blu-ray release of Here Are the Young Men, which you guys can pick up nationwide wherever you guys get your Blu-rays from. And also, if you guys are digital, you guys can also pick it up wherever you guys get your digital movies from. It tells the story of a trio of teenagers that experience a murder firsthand, and the film unfolds as a trio of character studies on the characters as they respond to the trauma. Before I even address what makes this film so great, I just have to say that this is without a doubt one of the best dramas that 2021 has given us. I'm placing this film right up there with Judas and the Black Messiah, George A. Romero's The Amusement Park, and One Night in Miami, all of which are films that are honestly top tier productions of drama that this year has given us. Some of my favorites, honestly, in this category. But really what makes this film so gripping and so riveting is actually the performances from its two lead actors in Dean Charles Chaplin, who plays our protagonist, Matthew, and Finn Cole, who plays our protagonist. Kearney, Finn Cole has more recently played John Cena's character, or rather a younger version of Cena's character in Fast 9. Uh, and I really was not a fan of his performance in that, and so I was really hesitant in coming into this film with that knowledge, and I have to say that about halfway through the film, all of those fears and all those doubts, they just start to wash over me. Cole just gives a transformative performance that I would liken to Heath Ledger's Joker and or some early Robert De Niro stuff. I mean, it is just a riveting, gripping, and just intense performance that he walks that line between unpredictable and charismatic with just top tier delivery. Like, seriously, it's he's so good in this. And then on the flip side, you have Chapman who is going through this journey of self discovery before the tragedy even happens. And then the tragedy, the, tra uh, the trauma of the tragedy intensifies it. And so he's going through this journey alongside. Uh, you know, discovering his own identity all while kind of having the uh, Kearney character just, just juxtaposed to him serving as the, uh, the, the antagonist and kind of how all three of those journeys meet for him and just it just it's such dynamic character growth for his character in particular and also Cole just like I said he's unpredictable and this is what makes this movie just so edge of your seat thriller it's so so good and just the cinematic way in which all these both of these stories arc and converge is just a beautiful thing uh, particularly, th this film is interesting to talk about, especially when you're talking about the Cole character, because there is use of, like, fantastical elements, but it never feels out of tone with these characters. It creates a really interesting dynamic to where you're having this fairly grounded story, also having drug-induced story elements mixed in with the fantastical that aren't drug induced so it's a really interesting mixture and blend that the filmmakers are really able to to captivate audiences with and it really does work the pacing of this movie another thing that's incredible again it takes it really takes its time to establish who these characters are before the trauma actually ensues on the audience and then it builds i would liken the pacing and the storytelling narrative to hereditary 
the, there's just such a gripping nature about this the storytelling here and even secondary characters like Anya Taylor-Joy feel so important to the story and to this world and impactful and they, she gives a great performance again no performance is wasted uh, it's just Chapman and Cole that really stand out above the rest so I have to say for for victims and villains, I have to give this film an easily a 4 out of 5. I cannot recommend this movie enough. It's not for the faint of heart. Uh, I highly, highly recommend this movie. And you guys can pick it up tomorrow wherever you guys get your movies from, whether that's physical or digital. Um, there's no special features on this, so I can't talk about anything as far as what makes this film uh, good. So if you guys are digital, I highly recommend just whichever way you get to see this movie take it. Uh, so now for our mental health moment, like I said, Matthew's journey throughout the course of this film is so interesting. And th his through line, whether it is searching for his identity or processing this trauma, or even whether or not he should still be friends with Kearney, is trying to find the right crowd. And what type of negative impact the keeping friends like Kearney really has on his, his mental health and community matters everything I mean we are made to be communal people we are made to be with others and to be around others that's why one of the reasons why it was so hard for us last year uh to go from in real person to to zoom during the pandemic but as positive as something like community is for our mental health Surrounding ourselves with the wrong community and the wrong friend, circle of friends can actually still impact our own mental health in some really, really terrifying ways and can have ramifications that we will feel long after those people are gone. I'm speaking, I'm also speaking from experience and I want to encourage you guys to make sure that you guys are surrounding yourselves with the right people. One of the reasons why I highly recommend Here Are the Young Men is because you get to see the darkness that eventually the people that you surround yourself with is eventually, if they're dark, you're going to take on that darkness. And we get to see uh, Matthew's journey actually get to reflect that. So that's my, that's my encouragement. And if you or someone you know is struggling, you guys are watching this right now and you're struggling with suicide, addiction, self-harm, or depression, I encourage you guys to please reach out. Suicide is currently the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. As of this video, there are 130 suicides that take place on American soil. And when we look to international numbers, there are 800,000 suicides that take place annually that's one death roughly every 40 seconds that someone somewhere in the world is taking their own lives so please stay with us because while we love recommending you guys movies like young men it's not the sole reason we create this content we create this content for two reasons so that you watching this video right now can know that you have value and that you have worth and two that there is always hope and that there is always a better way please stay with us and consider the resources in in the descriptions if you guys are watching this on youtube if you guys are watching this on uh, facebook or instagram tv click the link in the bio and check it out thank you guys so much for uh watching this spending some time to watch this video make sure that you guys hit plus and uh subscribe and or follow whichever platform you guys are watching this on and i hope you guys have a great week